Okay, so the next thing is called uh, parabolas as conic sections. Okay, so um, whoops, oh, I have to turn this on. Okay, second. There we go. So, definitely don't write all this down again, okay? But a parabola can be defined as a set of a uh, set of all points x, y, and a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix, okay? And a fixed point called the focus, not on the line. The midpoint between the focus and the directrix is called the vertex, and the line passing through the focus and the vertex is the axis of the parabola. So let me kind of show you uh, what they are, what they're talking about. Where's my, did I start recording? I must have started recording. Let me see my, where's the little thingy? Is this it? There it is, okay? So don't write down all of this, but pay attention to it, okay? So this, um, this is in your book. Okay, so this is a little bit, this is quite a bit different than parabolas that you have seen before. Okay, it's the same parabola, but it uses kind of a different way of defining. Okay, so this equation right here, this x squared plus 4py, okay, that is x squared plus 4py. Yeah, I got it right on here, so, oh, come on, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, uh, x squared plus 4py, that's a parabola that's uh, up, it's either this way or this way. Okay, so it's either one of these or it's one of those. If this quantity, the number in front of the y is negative, it goes downhill. Okay, so this is a negative one and this is positive. So if this thing in front of the y is positive, it's a, called a concave up parabola. If this thing in front of the y is negative, and it's a concave down parabola, okay? Y squared parabolas, which probably you haven't talked about. How many, have some of you talked about Y squared parabolas? Y squared parabolas are parabolas that are sideways, okay? And the reason you haven't probably talked about Y squared parabolas is because Y squared parabolas are not functions as we define functions, because they wouldn't pass the vertical line test, because for every X there's more than one Y. But if it is a, if this number in front of the x is positive, then it looks like this, okay? So that's a positive y squared parabola. This is a negative y squared parabola, kind of looking like that, okay? So this is if, if p is positive, it goes this way. If p is negative, it goes this way. If the vertex is at the origin, then it's one of these, okay, or this. If the vertex is not at the origin, then HK is the shift of the vertex. Okay, and over here you have all these formulas. Y equals K minus P. Focus is HK plus P. Focus is here and there. I would not bother to memorize all those formulas. You, you can if you like, and you want to memorize a bunch of formulas, but it's better to graph these just by drawing a picture of them. Okay, so this parabola, y equals x squared, y equals like 3x squared or something like that, that's the same parabola as x squared is equal to 1 over 3y. But this, right, I could solve this for x squared and I get x squared equals this, but this thing is the same as this, but the way you define this parabola is kind of different than the way you define this parabola, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So, Let's look at an example. What the heck is he talking about? Find the vertex focus directrix of the parabola with the equation. Okay? So the first thing I need to do with this one is get this one to look like x squared. Evan, are you paying attention? You are? How do I get this one to be an x squared parabola? Divide both sides by 0.5. So I'm going to divide this by 0.5, divide this by 0.5, this goes away. And I get x squared equals, I'm going to write this as 1 divided by 0.5y. What's 1 divided by 0.5? 1. It's equal to 2y. This is in that form, x squared equals 4py, where 4p is equal to 2, which means that p is equal to, what's p equal to? 
one f. Okay. P tells you something. Okay. P tells you if I go back. Okay. How do I go back? I go back. Okay. Go back. So P tells you the focus lies on the x. Uh, the focus. The focus lies on the axis P units directed distance from the vertex. So another directed distance means that if P is negative, you go to the left. <coughs> or if it's a if it's a sideways parabola. If P is negative, then you go down if it's a up down parabola. I'll show you what I mean on that where where I was. So going back to where I was, where was I? Going back? There I was. Okay? So going back to over here, okay, this parabola its vertex is where? Where's its vertex? If it's an x-squared parabola and there's no shift. Vertex is where? It's right there. That's the vertex. P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. So your focus is going to be right here at 0, 1 half. The directrix which is the line that, it's kind of an imaginary line, but the directrix is down here at P is, so the distance P is this distance from here to here. This is P, okay? If it's positive, this is the x-axis, this kind of, this is the y-axis, this is the directrix, at y equals, who can tell me the equation of that? The distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here. So if p is 1 half, then this is y equals negative 1 half, would be the equation of the director. If I'm going to sketch in this parabola, which it doesn't say I have to do, but it says find the vertex focus directrix of the parabola with that equation, then you would sketch it in something like going from here to here, okay? And going from here to here, okay? Turns out if this is, if the focus is closer, if the focus is closer, then it's wider, okay? So we'll, we can experiment with that another time. But um, right now, P is the distance from here to here and from here to here, okay? The focus is right here, which is at zero, zero. So the focus is at zero, zero. Oh, sorry, that's the vertex, sorry. The vertex is at zero, zero. The focus is at zero, comma, one half. And the directrix is, directrix is right here at, um, y equals negative 1 half. So the distance between the vertex and the focus is the same as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. Yeah? Hello? Questions about that? So that's a very simple one. It gets kind of more complex. But not horribly complex. Let's move on. Okay. What I tell students to do is don't try to do this without drawing a picture of it. It's much, much easier to draw a picture than to, than to, um, than to memorize a bunch of equations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an x, y axis. Okay? So here's x, y. Vertex is at 0, 0. Plot that point. Focus is at negative 2, 0. Okay? So here's the focus. If the focus is here, and the vertex is here, which way is this parabola going? No, it's not going down. The focus is always inside of the parabola. What did you say, Michael? To the left. Very good, OK? It's going to the left. This parabola looks kind of like this, OK? The focus is always inside of the parabola, OK? And this is, what's P? How far is it from here to here? two units, right? This is two. So P is the directed distance. So P is to the left. So is that negative or positive? Negative. 
to the left, direct distance, I would go left 2, so that's negative. P is negative 2. So if the parabola opens this way, it's negative. Parabola opens this way, it's positive. P is negative 2. We're not done yet. Okay. Where's the directrix? I'm going to draw in the directrix. X equals 2. Yep, it's over here. Here's the directrix over here. Two units away. It's also two units away from the vertex, so the directrix is at x equals 2. It's an imaginary line, but it's an imaginary line such that if I were to calculate, let's do a different color, the distance from here to here would be exactly the same as the distance from here to here. So the, any point that I pick on that parabola is going to be equidistant from the focus in this imaginary line called the director. Get that? Done? So did I answer all the questions? Find the standard form? Oh, I haven't found the equation yet. So this is a y squared parabola. I don't have to worry about a shift because it's, um, because it's centered at 0, 0. And then 4p, what's 4p? It's 4 times p, which is negative 2, times x. So you get y squared equals negative 8x is the equation, standard form equation of that parabola. Yeah? Tesla, focus. Hey, the focus. Focus. Focus on the focus, girls. I know it's a lot of learning. But I won't be here tomorrow. You could just work on homework. And you could throw things. You could put a picture on the board and you could throw darts at them. <laughs> okay. Uh, we won't be here tomorrow either. I mean Friday. Okay. So we're going to move on to this one. So again, if you're doing one of these, what you do not want to do is try to do it without a, uh, without a graph. Make a picture. Always draw a picture. It's really hard to do without a picture. Okay. Find the equation for apple with the vertex at negative 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, right? Here's the vertex. A focus at 0, negative 2. That would be, where would 0, negative 2 be? Focus. Negative 1, 2 is the vertex. Focus is at 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2. Oh, that's here, right? 0, negative 2. Which way is this parabola going? If the focus is here and the vertex is here, which way is this parabola going? To the right. To the right, okay? So you sketch a picture of it going kind of like this. It doesn't matter exactly. We're not going to worry about, you know, and what the intercepts are and stuff. We'll worry about that later on, okay? But then I know that this parabola takes this form, okay? From that previous page, it's going to be a y minus k squared equals 4p times x minus h. Everyone understands? That's that's what it looks like, because it's a y squared parabola. What's hk? What's hk? hk is the vertex. So you plug in negative 1 in there. Negative 1 goes in, in for x, and negative 2 goes in for k. Okay? Negative 2 goes in there. And what goes in for p? How far is p is the distance from here to here? What's p? From negative 1, negative 2, to 0, negative 2. How far is it from here to here? 1 unit. Okay, that's one unit from there to there. So P is one unit. See? Right? Now you can find the equation. Y plus 2 squared equals 4P, 4 times 1, which is 4. X minus minus 1 minus X plus, whoops, X plus uh, 1. That's the equation of that graph. Could you do that? You can not, not if you're on your phone. I can do this. You can do it? We have to do more. Why? I don't know. Because we do. Because it's math. 
Uh, so the next one is more fun than this. Look at what we get to do. Guess what we're going to do with that one? Guess what we're going to do with that one? Graph it, but what do you think you have to do first? Complete the square. Okay? So there's only two more little problems. This one's kind of, when you're doing a parabola, is this going to be, so just look at it, is this going to be a sideways parabola or an up and down parabola? Why is it up and down, Harrison? Because the highest term is positive. Right, and it's, but also the it's highest, oh, it's got an x squared. Yes. So if it's in, got an x squared in it, it's going to be an up down parabola, okay? Yeah, so to do completing the square on something like this, you put everything that is x, x on one side, because I want it to be in that form x minus h squared, and everything that is not um, an x squared, you put that on the right side, 4y minus 1. Oh, I did it over there. Did I do it? No, I didn't do it over there. Now what? How do I complete the square with this? Grace, tell me how to complete the square. Uh, x plus 3? Yep, x plus 3 squared equals 4y minus 1 plus something. Plus what? Nine. Grace! 9. 9. Very good, Michael. Okay. Then you combine like terms. So you get x plus 3 squared equals 4y plus 8. x plus 3 squared is equal to, I want to get a 4p in front of something with parentheses. What can I do to do that? What can I do with both of these? Factor out of 4 times y plus 2, okay? So this here is for p, right? So what's p? p equals 1, okay? So now I know that the focus, let's, so let's just get a picture of it because that helps me because I'm a visual learner, okay? I know, where's the vertex? Where's the vertex? Dan, where's the vertex? Yep, negative 3. Uh, negative 2. Negative 2, very good, okay? It's going uphill, right? Because this number is positive, and the focus is how many units above this vertex? This vertex is at, uh, what did I say that was? What did you just say? Oh, negative 3, negative 3, negative 2, right? So what's the coordinates of the focus? Yep, it's one unit above that, so, oh, that's bad, but this focus is one unit above that, which is at negative 3, negative 1, okay? So that's the focus, and then the directrix is one unit be below this, so the directrix is down here at y equals what? If this is negative 3, negative 2, where would the directrix be? Well, the directrix is a line, so it's y equals negative 3, right? One unit below. And then the other thing they ask you is find the length of the horizontal segment through the focus. Length of the horizontal segment through the focus is kind of tricky. What you have to do is, I'm going to do this in red, what they want to know is what is the length of this segment, okay? I'm not going to do that. But if I did do that, the way I would do that is I would plug in the y-coordinate of one of these points. What's the y-coordinate of this point? If it goes through the focus, what's the y-coordinate? Not negative 1, negative 2, right? Oh, wait. No, you're right, negative 1. So I would plug in, I would plug in, negative 1 for y, right? If I plug in negative 1 for y and solve for x, I find that the y coordinates, I can find the y coordinates and then I can find the distance between those two y coordinates. Are you fond of sleep? Evan? Maybe you should stand up and sit down a couple times. You're good? Very last thing. 
Okay, I'm gonna move on. Okay, go back. How do you find the distance? Okay, so if this segment goes through the focus, right? Its y coordinate, the y coordinates of the focus are negative three, negative one, right? Or the coordinates of the focus are negative three, negative one. So if I take negative one and I plug it into this equation right here, okay? I get x plus 3 quantity squared equals 4 times 1, is that right? 4 times 1, right? 4 times 1, because negative 1 plus 2 makes 1. I get x plus 3 squared equals 4. I take the square root of both sides. I get x plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 4. What's the square root of 4? 2. I get x equals, subtract 3 from both sides, negative 5, or uh, what's 2 minus 3? Negative 1, okay? So this kind of, it's off a little bit, but this point is negative 1 comma 1, and this point over, or negative 1 comma negative 1, and this point over here is negative 5, comma negative 1, how far apart are those two points? Negative 5, from negative 5 to negative 1, how far is it? <laughs> Subtract, negative 1 minus negative 5, what do you get? 4, okay? 4, four units, okay? This segment has a name, you can look it up in the book, I'm embarrassed to say it, so I'm not going to say, say it. it. No. Why? Say it. Just say it. Okay. You go look it up. All right. Say it. <laughs> this section has a name? This, this segment has a name. Say it. It's called this. I won't say it. I'll just write it on the board. Okay? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never say that because I'm embarrassed. Okay. So <laughs> but that's what... That's the horizontal segment through the focus. That's what it's called. It's called that. Okay? So Just in case. That thing. All right. So, <laughs> Wait, how is it pronounced? <laughs> All right. So um, the very last thing, it kind of talks about what I talked about in the beginning. It, and this is a question that will definitely be on your homework and will definitely be on a test. And it's easy, but people always get thrown by it. So please just pay attention for like five more minutes and we'll be done, okay? A mirror is shaped like a paraboloid of revolution. So, and we'll be used to concentrate the rays of the sun at its focus creating heat source. If the mirror is 20 feet across and it's opening 6 feet deep, where will the heat source be constrained? In other words, they're looking for the focus of a parabola, okay? The easiest way to do this is, I mean, you could draw the parabola anywhere you want, but the easiest place to draw the parabola is over here with its, with its vertex at the origin. This is kind of a parabola. Paraboloid is just a three-dimensional parabola. If you take your parabola, you s rotate it around the x-axis. That's why it's called the paraboloid of, I mean the y-axis. You get a, you get a, a um, dish shape, okay? It's 20 feet across from here to here. So if this is 20 feet, what would you call this point out here? What would the coordinates of this point right here? What would it? 60. 60. Uh, 60. 10, 6. Do you guys understand why it's 10, 6? Okay. Because, right? Because it's 6 feet deep and it's 20 feet across. This is not where the focus is. People always get this wrong in a test. They say, oh, the focus is just here at 0, 06. But that's not where the focus is. The focus, you have to get by using this equation, x squared equals 4PY. This is very easy to do. I, know, I don't know what 4P is. That's what I'm trying to find. But I know an x and y that's on my parabola. What's an x and y that's on my parabola? 10 and 6. So I plug in 6 for y, I plug in 10 for x, okay, and I get 100 equals 
4p times 6, which makes p equal to 100 divided by 24, which is about equal to 4.16. 4 okay? So the focus of this parabola is somewhere right there where it's at 0, 4.16. Okay? So that's an easy problem that people always get wrong in a test because they weren't paying attention the last 10 minutes of class or they don't know what they're talking about. But it, you just set it up like this. You plug in this point and find what P is. And that's where, if you had a bunch of rays coming into this parabola, they'd all bounce off and they'd head up. They'd hit that point. Bounce off, boom, boom, right? Or they're all going right, hey, that looks kind of cool. They're all bouncing off and they're all going right to that focus, okay? And that's where your heat source is going to be coming. Okay? The end. Um, sorry I talked so much at you, uh, but I kind of wanted to get through two things today. Um,